how's everybody doing today? This is your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It's Daniel Oosterman, the VP of Exploration for Silver Elephant Mining. How are you doing today, Daniel? Very well, Rich. Uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Excited to speak to you again. And Silver Elephant Mining had a monster day today. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go into that with you because I thought the news and the headline was pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm. Silver Elephant reports 106.7 million ounce indicated and 13.1 million ounces inferred silver mineral resource estimate for the Pulikayo project. What exactly does this mean for the company? Well, uh, for us, it means that uh, we stated an objective within the 12, next 12 to 18 months that uh, we would uh, put within the company stable uh, 300 plus million ounces into uh, the company for our, our investors to own. This really marks the first step of that. Uh, we, we, we looked at, we have our Pulakaya project and what we did is uh, when that project was, we first acquired it, silver prices were a little low. And now with the current uh, uh, bullish market on silver, we realize we have to re we have to revisit the the the, the mineral resource estimate for Pulakayo, and in doing so, we are able to include a lot of material uh, that was not included in the previous mineral resource estimate. Keeping in mind, we had a 400 gram per ton cutoff in that previous re mineral resource estimate, which is very high grade, and it held up very well, mind you. I mean, that it just goes to show you how much high grade material still resides in our Pulakayo project. But now we were able, able to bring in a lot of this other material into the, into the mineral resource estimate. Now using instead of a 400 uh, uh, gram cutoff, we're able to use for the in pit uh, resource, a 30 gram cutoff and for the out of pit, a hundred gram cutoff. So it really means that we, we are starting to deliver on our promise to really add in the ounces into the company stable and by virtue of doing so, uh, give, that, give, give an opportunity for our shareholders. Yeah, and that's one of the modus operandi of your company is that you want your shareholders to hold the most amount of silver. Yes. What do you exactly do you mean by that? Like, I love that. I, 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 what does that exactly mean? Like, how can I own the most amount of silver by buying silver elephant mining? Well, there's obviously the, in the market that you can buy silver in the market, but a lot of silver is still locked in the ground. It's a precious metal. And in order for a lot of people to have access to any sort of silver valuation, the next option after bullion is, of course, going into mine, silver mining companies. And we recognize that. And as such, uh, we see that us bringing in as much silver ounces into the company gives much more opportunity for anybody who decides to invest in our company. We have recently acquired the Sunawayo project, which we discussed our last time we spoke. Uh, before that, we also had the, uh, acquired the El Triumphal project. And of course, now with this Pulakayo uh, mineral resource estimate, we, we really put a lot of flavor onto that pro project as well, which is, which is uh, uh, part of our three O's of, of our pro of projects. Now, the volume today was phenomenal. The stock was up 9% and the volume was 2.5 million shares at around 47 and a half cents. Since I've been watching this company, I've never seen the volume that big. Is that the biggest volume day you guys have ever had? As far as I know, I think it is definitely among one of the highest tr trading days that we've had. I think it really, uh, I think it reflects a very positive uh, uh, reception of our, of our mineral resource estimate. Now, for a shareholder that's interested in getting into this company, there's so many mining companies out there. There's so many gold stocks out there. Everybody right now is saying we're going into a gold and a silver bull market, which I believe we are. And many people are saying we're kind of only halfway through that and there's still a long ways to go. Some people are saying we're in the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like, where do you think we are in this, 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 this metals market right now? Gold's already been over 2000. It's come back down, had a tougher day today. Silver's been, you know, pretty high, but come back down a little bit, but a lot still, many people still think it can go way higher. Um, where do you think we are in this metals market right now? Are we in the middle of a bull run? Are we in the beginning? Are we in the end? What do you think? Personally, I think we are at the beginning of, wow. a, of a bull run. We have had sort of a lot of downward pressure on, on a lot of precious metals over the, the recent years. 
And I think it's just now coming to a point where people are starting to see, obviously with gold being what it is and starting to, you know, hit, hit that $2,000 mark, uh, people are seeing silver as a, a, a rational uh, opportunity, ones that, that isn't as expensive as gold to get into. And uh, I think we're just at the beginning, Rich. I think, uh, I think we have a, a hopefully a good couple of years uh, on this uh, bull run. And then what about silver elephant mining? Where are we in the evolution of this company? We're currently at 47 and a half cents. We got investors that will be watching this video from all over the world that are going to be looking at this company, wondering whether or not they should invest their hardened dollars in this company, this silver small cap company, which really when, when you look at the market cap is still just a baby market cap. Yes. What is your guys goal as a company, as far as growing your market cap? Do you have a goal? Is there a number you guys I, have in mind? Absolutely. I mean, if you look at some peer comps in, in terms of our, our group of peer comparisons, we see uh, companies that, that silver companies that have decent valuation, they tend to have, well, this is one of the reasons we're looking at that 300 million ounce market. They, they have two, 200 million ounce plus. They appear to be in that uh, 300 million uh, market cap or higher. And so that's one of the reasons, of course, our philosophy is to add more silver ounces into the ground. But that is exactly how, what we're going to do. We're going to do it by two ways. We're going to do it by exploring. So we have those three, three O's, the three O's pro of the projects that we, we're, we will bring uh, into, uh, we will be adding uh, more silver by, by exploring those. Plus we have that mineral resource estimate. And we really want to bring every project that we have to a stage where we can look at a mineral resource estimate and every time we do that, we're, we will be realizing ounces. Alternatively, aside from exploration, we will also be doing, uh, we are still also looking at project acquisitions. Bolivia is, is silver elephant country. It's, it's part of one of the reasons what, uh, of our name. Um, and really we have a very strong team there. We have a strong uh, position in Bolivia. And we think that that gives us an advantage of looking at projects in Bolivia, but also outside of Bolivia as, as well. We, we're looking at any option where we can really maintain that goal of, of adding those ounces. Now, you guys have before today a market cap of about 68 million. So let's just say that your market cap is now over 70 million. So if you guys are setting a goal of having a 300 million market cap, that means we could anticipate that this could grow 400 to 500% from these prices. That's my uh, simple math. Exactly. I mean, I mean we, we see... We look at these other companies, we, we see what they have, we, we study them, and we say, listen, what are the differences between us and them? And, and there's a very simple difference in a lot of sense, a lot of cases. And the case simply is, the more ounces you have that, that, that in the ground for any of these projects, there tends to be a, a, a it tends to reflect on the market in a positive way. So that, that's a very simple uh, formula for us to follow. And that's one we're going to achieve, having the team that we have in place. Now, are there any catalysts that we can anticipate are going to be coming that we can look forward to as investors? We love catalysts. We love to see like things that like happen today with the news and then the stock yeah. explodes 10%. So any catalyst that we can look forward to in the next weeks or months ahead? Sure. Well, we are initiating exploration at both Pulakayo and also at our, uh, at our uh, Sunawayo project, which we discussed last time. Uh, we just finished drilling at El Triunfo project. So those assays are now in the lab. So we should expect results from that drilling uh, okay. probably in by the end of the month or early next month. Great. Uh, we also completed the drill program at our Pulakayo project at the PACA deposit. So that, that was there to test some ideas. Well, hopefully we'll get some positive results out of that. And, and that will be an exciting catalyst for us going forward. And the work that we'll be doing at Sunawayo is really to bring it to the drill ready stage. So we hope to announce drilling at Sunawayo and hopefully get some positive results from that. We just released a, a, uh, a news release stating that we had taken samples from Sunawayo on a recon uh, sampling project. Out of 48 samples, 47 had a gram uh, silver or higher. Which mean, and, and they're all, so that's all surface mineralization. That project has never been drilled before. And so we've identified four areas in that, in that project that look really, really interesting to us. And finally, um, as mentioned in our last conversation, Rich, 
uh, we have uh, an application in for the uh, mining production contract for Malkukota. And Malkukota has a historic resource of 350 million ounces of silver. And if we are able to achieve that in the next six to eight months, we think that'll be a very, very, very strong, uh, uh, let's say, boon for us and, of course, our investors. Yeah, I think that would be a fantastic catalyst. If there's anything else you want to leave shareholders with that are watching this video about silver elephant mining, what would it be? Well, uh, I think this, this most recent release really just is an indication of how we uh, do deliver on, on what we intend to do. We move at a very fast pace. We're very ambitious and we have very focused goals. Uh, I think uh, really just, uh, I think that's one of the key takeaways. And as you said, we given our valuation, we really feel that we're undervalued at this time. And that really means an opportunity for anybody who wants to get in on, at the ground level on a lot of our projects. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us again. Daniel Oosterman, the VP of Exploration for Silver Elephant Mining. We love having you on the show. Please, anytime you have any big news like this, like you had today, please feel free to come on our show. We'd love to have you be in front of our community. A lot of our investors are holding this stock. They're very pleased today. Congratulations on a huge breakthrough day. And hopefully you guys can continue to evolve. Thank you very much, Richard. Good have yourselves you. a nice day. Thank you, Daniel. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you.